Good morning. Good morning, morning chef. chef. Welcome to the Hell's Kitchen Library. What is the connection between books and kitchens? Cookbooks is the answer. You know cookbooks are beloved treasures. A great recipe will always remain a great recipe. So for today's challenge, you're going to be using books to decide on what you're going to be cooking. I hope you can spell. I kind of suck at spelling words. Um, English was not my, um, my uh, best grades in school. As a team, you're going to be spelling out the ingredients that you'll be using to create your own dish. Here's how it's going to work. One at a time, one person from each team will select the books with the letters that spell out the ingredient that they want to cook with. Now, the next person on the team will select an ingredient that shares a letter with an ingredient already on the board. I'm actually kind of excited for this because the blue team as a whole, they're dumb as rocks. Your five minutes starts now. Let's go. Tenderloin. Chicken. Tenderloin. Tenderloin. No. Chicken. 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 Tenderloin. Chicken, yes, it's versatile, but it's also fucking boring. What are we doing? Chicken. Chicken. Wait, no. I don't know what it is with Shayna. I'm chicken. I think she's out of her fucking head. Get the chicken. Chicken. Go back. Get the chicken. They got the chicken already. Chicken. Chicken. Shit. Let's go, buddy. And go to the top, though. Go to go the top. Go high with it. And don't go in the middle. Try to stay to the left, like three in. That's good. Good job. Ribeye. Chicken. One minute gone, guys. Come on, let's go. For some reason, Aziza decided to put chicken dead center on the board. So we have very little room on either side to kind of build off of. Come on, Ryan. Come on, Ryan. Matt, talk to us. What are you doing up there? Crab. What? Crab. 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 That's good. Crab. Well, there goes rice. Cat. Yeah. Lime. I can definitely work with lime. The gears are turning already. <laughs> Beans. Bacon. I'm hoping to kill this thing. What do you guys want to do? Bacon. Yes, we can. Hey, bacon. Bacon. Yes. Where am I putting bacon? Bacon. B-A-C. Oh, no, we can't. No, we can't. Fuck. Guys, do you know the rules? Have you ever played this game before? Kale. Um, can kale. We do kale. Can we do kale? Uh, those words don't fit. Oh, my god. Two minutes left. Come on. Onion. No, go the other way. Other way. Put way. the O above the N. Put the O above the N. Put the O above the N. Have to work off the Put the fucking O above the N. Devin definitely is not the sharpest tool. And it was like watching him do like Japanese algebra or something. Now get oh, oh, hey. There you go, bro. There All you right, go Right? Yes. O N I O N. <laughs> Onion. Turn up. You got it. You got it. Okra. Uh, I want snap peas, but there's no room to put it. Snap? What the fuck is that? Snap, snap for peas? Yeah. Can we do that? Uh, that's not going to count. The wand's kicking in. 20 seconds to go. Go, 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 go. How about P's? P-E-A. P. Get it up there. P-E-A. Hell yeah. P-E-A. Ah! <laughs> All right. Pick it up, John. Five, four, you got three, a. two, we need the a, one, baby. and stop. Wait, how, did, how is it snap? Yeah, how like, is how snap is, a that's word? A, that's not right. In, that's in, not right. Snap P is out. Please get off the board. The hell's a snap? You've all got 45 minutes to create one stunning entree. Your time starts now. Let's go. In today's ingredient crossword challenge, each chef has just 45 minutes to create a dish using as many or as few ingredients as they wish from their team's board. I'm going Asian, just so everybody knows. I'm going Indian. Um, I'm gonna just go southern, I guess. I'm trying to like do a few things that are a little more technical. Stuff the okra, and then fry it. Bada bing, bada boom. Crab stuffed okra, chef. There you go. It doesn't even look cooked all the way. My chicken's not cooked at all, but there's nothing else you can do about it. I have to put on the plate and then run to the front, see what happens. Five. Come on, come on, get her on there. Four. Behind. Three, two. Come on, move. One. And serve, guys. Let's go. Let's start off with the blue team. Paulie, bring your dish forward, please. Thank you. Chef Ramsay will judge all of the dishes from the blue team first, awarding between one and five points for each, based on creativity, presentation, and taste. I have a grilled ribeye with uh, crab stuffed okra. Uh, it looks rather strange. Okra. 
badly prepared, uh, raw, puree slimy, and that is the worst bastardization of a ribeye I've seen uh, this year. <laughs> Out of five, Paulie, that's got a one. And I'm struggling at one. I'm pissed off. Like, I'm not used to being on the bottom of the barrel. That's not, that's not me. Dude, this was fucking terrible. You can get defensive all you want. I'm not defensive at all, you Give chef. me raw fucking okra and expect me to kiss your ass. Absolutely you not. Are dreaming. Let's get that right. Was there anything redeeming about it at all? Was there any one component that was good? Yeah, the plate, you served it on. Now fuck off. Polly, stop thinking you're better than the rest of us. Obviously, you're not. Devon, let's go, please. Yes, Chef. Devon's up. This is going to be interesting. Good. A ribeye that looks like a ribeye. Describe the dish, please. Uh, it's a grilled ribeye, Chef. Uh, Sauteed up some uh, lump crab to put it on top with a nice mustard uh, deglaze. Steak is absolutely delicious. A uh, great you. sear, uh, cooked beautifully. Love the mustard. Bacon crispy, nice, salty. Four out of five. Good Thank job, you, Chef. Yeah, Devon. Yeah, Devon. After an impressive turn by Devon, Matt is ready to wow with his ribeye topped with crab imperial. Delicious crab. It's a little bit too clumsy in the plating. Uh, three out of five. Thank you, Chef. Johnny, let's go. Up next is Johnny's sweet and spicy grilled ribeye, served with a fried egg and fried okra. Steaks cooked beautifully. Thank you, Chef. Three out of five. Good Thank job. you, Chef. After solid scores from Matt and Johnny, Coop is ready with his southern style ribeye Oscar and yam hash. Love this little Bernays. Hash delicious. Four out of five. Good Thank job. Much, yeah. Good job, Coop. Yeah, Coop. We're moving up the scale in points. Feels good, especially after the way this started. The last to present for the blue team is Andrew. Got a uh, seared ribeye, pea and truffle puree. Looking to add a big number to the men's total with his experience as a steakhouse chef. That's one of the most minimalistic dishes I've seen. No okra, no, no yams. I don't think it needs any more ingredients. Insufficient sear on the steak, uh, and the dish is plain. Two out of five. I beat you today, motherfucker. Uh, men, 17 out of 30. Time to see how the women did. Wow. Asian-inspired uh, chicken infused with a little bit of ginger, lemongrass, cilantro. Mm. That's delicious. Thank you, Chef. It looks very colorful. Thank you, Chef. Solid effort. Four out of five. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Heidi, let's go. Up next, Heidi's curried chicken breast with brown butter carrots. Love that ginger fragrance and matches well with the spice. Four out of five. Thank you, Chef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wendy, let's go. Yes, Chef. With the women off to a strong start, Wendy presents her Latin-inspired dish. When I think of Latina, I think of something sexy. That does not look sexy to me. Great crispy skin, fine, but that's where it stops. That is terrible. Uh, two out of five. Thank you. After a poor showing from Wendy. It's all right, Wendy. Heather looks to get the women back on track with her honey ginger lime chicken. Shit, it's hard to swallow. One out of five. With only two dishes left to taste, Shayna is ready to impress with her southern fried chicken. It's cooked to hell. It's just dry. Damn. Shayna had pushed to make the chicken our protein and then can't even cook it. You suck. One out of five. Wow. Ryan is up last for the women. Wow. And with the men leading 17 to 12, she must get a perfect score just to tie. Is that Asian inspired chicken breast? Yep, all on me. Wow. I hate you bitches right now. That is tasty. That's really good. Thank you, Chef. Back in line. Um, that was delicious. Beautiful Thank you, Chef. In fact, uh, I would say the red team's best effort. Thank you, Chef. Good job. Uh, Ryan, your score is four out of five. Men, congratulations. Well done. Boom, son. I'm happy that we won. Andrew Pauly, I hope you say thank you to the rest of us today. Today, I'm going to be using this machine to help test your knowledge of ingredients. Here's how it's going to work. I'm going to press the button on the machine, and then a letter will appear. You'll name an ingredient that starts with that letter. The first chef who gets stumped loses the round for their team. The team that wins gets to choose what ingredient you keep, 
and what ingredient that the other team have to cook with. Oh, God. We don't want to end up with some weird random ingredients, so everybody has to think on their feet. And I'm looking around at this group, and I'm like, I don't know that that's everybody's forte. Blue team, you had the best performing dinner service last night, so you'll start first. Yes, yes chef. chef. Here we go. M. Right, Benjamin. M. Maraschino cherries, chef. <laughs> what the fuck? Where did that come from? Wow. I don't know. I'm gonna make it challenging. Right, Amanda. Mascarpone. Mascarpone. Giovanni. Oh, jeez. Mayo. Michelle. Uh, mushroom chef. Jared. Mustard chef. Elise. Mango. Millie. Um. Ah, oh, man. Come on. I'm stumped, chef. I couldn't think of nothing to start with an M. Yeah. Other than Millie, like, no. Nah. And that ain't gonna be an ingredient. Stumped. Let's keep yeah, the mushrooms and give Ladies. them to you. Yeah. Tell me, the ingredient the red team is choosing? Mushroom, chef. Mushrooms. What are you selecting to give to the blue team? Maraschino cherry, chef. Come on, Ben. What the hell am I going to do with maraschino cherries? Make a Shirley Temple? Wow. Here we go. go. The chef's next letter is? B, B, B. Cantaloupe. That's good. Cauliflower. Charred, chef. Michelle. Uh. Uh. Cabbage, cream cheese, cottage cheese, cucumbers. Come on, Michelle. Three, two, one. Stumped. Fuck. Men. The blue team takes. Cauliflower, chef. And gives the red team. Cantaloupe, chef. Next up. S. Gerard. Snap peas. Syrup. Millie. Um, three, two, one. I got mom black, so. Yes! 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 We're not losing today! We are not! Ladies, what ingredients are you keeping? Snap peas! What are you giving the men? Syrup! Here we go. A. Dana. Millie. Apple. Robin. Artichoke. Josh. Agnolotti. Agnolotti? No. No, Agnolotti is a tortellini stuffed with braised meat. Get out of here, man. Stop telling us what you want to eat for dinner tonight. Stumped. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Michelle. We're keeping asparagus, chef. Love it. What are you giving to the blue team? Artichoke, chef. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, great. Let's go. In the next round. P. After several prolific answers, Dana, the red team is perplexed. Fuck. So the blue team punishes them with peanut butter, chef. Peanut butter. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell am I gonna do with peanut butter? And the men keep portobello, chef. Portobello mushrooms. Good. Two more ingredients left. In the R round, the red team keeps rice and tries to rattle the blue team with raisin, chef. And as for the letter B, the blue team gets blessed with bacon. And the red team gets burdened with blueberry, chef. Okay, we'll take it. Wow, there we have it. Now, get creative. I want to see some flair. Of course, you need hallucinogens to make a dish with that. Your 40 minutes starts now. In today's challenge, let's go. Chef Ramsay has provided each chef with their own protein in addition to the seven shared ingredients that they are all required to use. Tell me if I need more salt. I have, like, such bad dry mouth, I can't like... Robin always chokes during challenges, so as much as we both want to win, I don't want to give her some advice and then blame me when it doesn't taste good. So I'm going to focus on my own dish. Two minutes remaining. Guys, make sure if you're cooking artichokes, they're getting cooked. Don't overcook your cod, Robin. Well, it's still not cooked. <laughs> Show some finesse, guys, yeah? Yes, chef. My sauce is done. Can you taste my sauce? Sure. That's good. That's, That's delicious. Good. 30 seconds remaining. Come on, ladies. Y'all plating? Everything on the plate? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and serve. Well done. Each dish will be scored on a scale of 1 to 5 and the team with the highest point total will win the challenge. Describe your dish, please. I made pan-seared halibut with an African peanut sauce, chef. But I'm allergic to peanuts, so... So you haven't tasted this? No, chef, but my team helped me. Right. Mm. 
Um, you've nailed the fish. Peanut butter and corn paste, delicious. That is a four out of five. Good job. Thank you, chef. I think that if I'd been able to taste my dish, I would have gotten a five out of five. But I'm really proud of it. Where did you start? Good job. Amanda, let's go. Now it's Manda's turn, and she is hoping to score big points with her rib cap and cantaloupe-infused rice. The czar rice is bland. Damn, that sucks. That does suck. That's a two. Sorry, chef. It's OK. Dana, let's go. Come on, Dana. You got this. After Manda's misstep, Dana is in the spotlight with her peanut butter lime ribeye with blueberry demi-gloss. Steak you've nailed beautifully. That is a resounding five. Thank you, chef. Great, Great job. job. Dana. Hoping to match Dana's perfect score, Robin presents a seared black cod marinated in peanut butter with a blueberry gastrique. I haven't been doing so good on challenges, so I definitely need to uh, bounce back. Come on, Chef Ramsay, five, 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 five. So, looks like someone's been shot. Oh, God. Oh, no. It's bland, and the skin is rubbery. Come on. I'm struggling to give that a one. One out of five. Wait. Robin gets a one again. <sighs> this is not looking good for our team. As Robin's fish tanks, Elise is under pressure to deliver on her Wagyu strip steak to boost their total. Love what you've done with the melon. You wrapped these bags. That is a definite five for five. Thank you, chef. Once again, slam dunk. <laughs> that five is all me, baby. Next, Michelle hopes her filet with pepper crusted cantaloupe. Love what you've done with that salty sweetness in the melon. Can continue the red team's hot streak. That's a five for five. Thank you, chef. Amazing. Yes. Jennifer. Last one for the Reds. Describe the dish, please. It's peanut butter fried monkfish with saffron risotto. That is cooked beautifully. Can you guys see how listening that is? Yes, yes. Chef. Very strong four. Good chef. job. Yeah, really good job. Good job. Ladies, your total, 26. Uh, that's a strong effort. Right, Millie, starting off for the blue team. If the red team could get 26, I'm guaranteeing we're getting a 30. I have a brown butter and bacon fat monkfish garnished with grilled maraschino cherries. It doesn't look that intriguing. But the actual flavor is good. It's a good four. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. Great start. Next up, Van hopes his filet with syrup and cherry sauce can continue to close the gap. Filet, you've nailed. But there's so much cherry on there. It's just very sweet. Three out of five, Van. Yeah. Benjamin's Wagyu strip steak with a maple bacon glaze will need to impress to match the perfect score that Elise received with her Wagyu. Pretty beautiful. The glaze gives that earthiness and just lightens everything up. That is a definite five for five. Yeah. Thank you, Brian. Getting a five is the best, you know? That's what I do. It's now up to Jared's black cod with roasted cauliflower to keep the blue team afloat. Man, I'm proud of this. This turned out exactly like I thought it should. So I think the bizarre thing with this is cauliflower tastes better than your protein. Yeah, chef. That's a one out of five, John. Come on, bro. A one? You're better than a one, man. We can't win like this. Nick, let's go, please. After Jared's failure with fish, Nick will need to score big with his ribeye and golden raisin tapenade for the blue team to have a chance of winning. This dish is inspired by my husband because we always eat ribeyes at home. Yeah, I can see why he married you. <laughs> five for five, young man. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> man, you're down by eight. Next up, Josh, please. We're eight points down. There's two of us left, and I'm confident my dish has what it takes to help us win. Describe that, please. That is a bacon-wrapped halibut, chef, that I basted with thyme. Uh, visually, it's textbook. Looks like it's just come off the cover of a book. I'm like, please don't taste as good as it looks. The fish is overcooked. Yes, sir. It's a three out of five. So close. So close. Gio, all the pressure on you. As this is the blue team's final dish, Giovanni will need a perfect score to tie the red team. It's a grilled uh, rib cap. I rendered the bacon. I sauteed it. Temperature-wise, what have you gone for? Medium rare. Medium rare. God, I hope he overcooked that meat. Mmm. It's cooked beautifully. Thank you, Chef. Uh, it's a good dish. Thank you. You cook meat like an angel. 
anything but a five. Anything, not a five. Gio, that dish is, is a four out of five. <laughs> Red team really, 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 really needed this win. Not losing today. <laughs> our confidence needed to get boosted, up our morale a little bit, and we are so stoked. That's how you do it, ladies. Welcome to the first ever Spells Kitchen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I love game shows. I love game shows. Chefs, this challenge is really designed to understand which of you can think quickly on your feet. And each round, each chef, one from each team, will head up to the podium. Then, a scrambled ingredient will show on the screen. Blue team, what is that? Bell pepper, pepper, chef. Very good. Answer correctly, you get to choose to keep the ingredients, and you'll assign that ingredient to those proteins. Or send it to the opposing team. If you get an answer right, you can choose to kind of sabotage the other team. It's a fun little twist. Mary Lou and Amber step up to the podium. All right, Mary Lou, let's go. Come on, Amber. Here is your first scramble. Amber. Fennel. That is correct. Now, is the fennel going to go with the ribeye, halibut, or veal chop? Or do you want to pass it to the red team? What would you like? We're going to take it on the halibut. You're going to take it under the halibuts. Right, second scramble. Here we go. Amber. Swiss chard. Well done, Swiss chard. Hey, I'm failing a little bit. Dang, she's so good with these ladders. We'll take it on ribeye. Get it on a game show. Right, ready for the third scramble? Here we go. Come on, Mary Lou. Trigger finger, come on. Parsnip? It's not parsnip. It's spinach. I got nervous. Amber, you have control. Where would you like to send it? I will give it to the red team on their halibut. Why? Spinach is just kind of lame. Red team, you're going to have to bring the spinach to life. Amber, well done. Cody versus Jordan. Let's go. Damn. Eggplant chef. Damn it. Cody, well done. What would you like to do with it? Veal chop chef. Here we go. Oh, I know that one. OK, now we're doing parsnip. Parsnip. Well done. We'll keep it for the veal chop. Next pair. So I'm going up against little old Mary Lou. She's hella cute. This is a fun-ass matchup. Watercress? Basmati rice? Tomato. Well done. We'll send it to their ribeye. We'll put um, the basmati rice on our halibut. Pass that to the blue team and put that on their halibut. You're on fire. Thanks, Chef. Welcome back, Mary Lou. Ha, 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 sucker. Next pair. Fingerlings. Goes well with your veal. That's where it's going, Chef. Celery root. Boom! Chef, we will keep that for our ribeye. Pearl onion. Take it for the veal, Chef. One ingredient left. Come on, Corey. Get this last one. Oh, that's Come a on. good one. Come on. Come on, Corey. Come on. Amber. Avocado. That's correct. With the blue team's board already full of ingredients, Amber has two choices. You can put avocado on their halibut, or you can eliminate one of yours. Get rid of the pineapple, put the avocado on. I'm thinking to myself, right, if we've got an avocado, we can get rid of the pineapple. It's simple. We'll put the avocado on their halibut. What the hell? Amber, you made a mistake. Y'all keep that shitty pineapple. We don't want that. <laughs> Just over 20, guys. Hurt ya. Hurt. I need this fat spot to cook. The thick part in this veal chop, I'm a little worried about. Uh, I don't want it to be undercooked. Damn it, is it still too soft right here? Somebody come feel this. I give it a quick flash with some butter, but real quick. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't screw me. This has got to go back in for a second. Come on. For my ribeye, I don't have a hard enough sear. And I'm running out of time. So I throw a pan on it. It's kind of the quick and dirty way to get it done. But you risk tearing apart the ribeye. What's that? What's burning? Fuck me. That really just happened? God damn it. You confident, Amber? Are you all right? Oh, fuck. So I fish that. Fish that. Hold on. 
Pass it to me. Pass it to me. Incoming. Nice catch. God damn. There's a part where I freak out. It's the earliest I've ever played it in my entire life. Plating is always my worst attribute, but today I am insanely proud of my dish. Five, four, three, oh, two, damn. one, and serve. Good. Mary Lou, Nikki, you've both made the halibut. Decide amongst you which one is the best to put forward. I'm a little worried okay. about my salty rice, so. Okay. Oh, it's cool. Hold on. Mary Lou. Put Mary Lou's up and keep Come yours again. down then. So, Red Team, whose dish are you dropping? We're dropping Nikki's and going with Mary Lou's. Right. First up, the Battle of the Ribeye. Let's go. Let's go, Corey. Go on, Amber. Oh, Miss Amber. I'm going to smash you like the buzzer. Amber, describe your dish first, please. Yes, Chef. So I have a pan-seared ribeye, roasted cauliflower, and a watercress puree. Why are you pressing a ribeye? I pressed it because it didn't have a sear in one part of it. It looks thin. She looks really nervous. Ribeye's cooked beautifully. Thanks, Chef. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a little bit sort of over, but it's not. Super powerful in flavor. Nice, clever utilization of the three ingredients. Thank you, really Chef. Really good dish. Corey, describe the dish, please. I did a mustard veal demi, and the ribeye just pan seared it real quick on both sides with a celery root puree on the bottom and the asparagus. I did a nice red wine vinaigrette. Steaks cook beautifully. Thank you, Chef. Really beautifully. Love that asparagus salad. You've highlighted the three ingredients. God, it's really tough. Two well executed dishes. And at the point, it's going to go to Amber. Yes. And Corey. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Good job. Thank you, Chef. Really good job indeed. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, uh, Chef. Amazing. Next up, the Battle of the Veal Chop, please. Let's go. Jordan will attempt to outshine Declan's veal with her roasted parsnips and broccolini served over. A white cheddar polenta. Cooked beautifully. Thank you, Chef. Polenta's absolutely spot on. Veal, delicious. But parsnips, just to be cubed like that, some big, some small. It just needs a bit more finesse, especially at this stage of the game. Yes, Chef. <sighs> Damn you, parsnips. Declan, describe the dish, please. So, Chef, we have a palm roasted veal with rustic crushed potato. So we've left the skin on the potatoes and the skin on the eggplant. Yes, Chef. Veal's delicious. Thank you, Chef. Both dishes need just that little touch of finesse. But the heroes are the veal. The point goes to... Both you. Yeah. Well done. Yeah, well done. Good job. 2-2. Two, two. So now it's still a tie. Damn it. Somebody has to pull this out of the bag. Down to the Battle of the Halibut. Let's go. Come on, girl. Bring it on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. You got it. It comes down to me. The pressure's on my shoulders. This is my time to shine. So the halibut starts off being pan seared. I put a little bit of heat in there with chili flakes. On top, there is a pickled pineapple vinaigrette and grilled pineapple to make the salad. I can tell it's cooked beautifully because the knife goes through like butter. Look at that. Wow. A little bit too heavy on the chili flake. But what steals this dish is what you've done with that pineapple. You define the odds, and it does work. I keep bringing this shit home, and it feels so good. Uh, Mary Lou, describe your dish, please. Chef, I have a pan-seared halibut with a whipped guacamole, and then it has a rice pilaf with the spinach in it. Look at that. Listing. Uh, beautifully cooked. Thank you, Chef. But that smear, it looks like the inside of my granddad's fucking underpants. <laughs> Everything else looks lovely and rustic, but this thing here, ay ay ay. I'm sorry about that, Chef. Both of you take the dishes back for a moment, please. Chef just pretty much shat all over my plating technique, but I feel like all my flavors are there, so I think that I can still win. Both halibuts nailed. Now it's down to tiny details. This is really hard. Um, congratulations, it's going to. The blue team. Well done. Really well done. Mm, fuck, that feels good.